My name is uh, Ivan van Vijbeke, CEO of Pulsify Medical. At Pulsify Medical, our mission is to transform management of heart failure patients. The world over, there are a lot of people, and it's a growing population with heart failure, and it's very hard to treat. And one of the fundamental reasons is that physicians actually have a lack of accurate data on the performance of the patient's heart over time. That is to say, the cardiac output, ejection fraction, stroke volume. And so at Pulsify, we have a solution for that. And that is a revolutionary wearable ultrasound patch. So a large patch, a flexible patch, you attach to the chest and it will continuously monitor the end diastolic and end systolic volume of the left ventricle. And from that, of course, directly derive the cardiac output. And this is in contrast to other devices such as ECG and other uh, impedance devices, for example, that measure electrical function and then try and derive the pump function, the mechanical performance of the heart. But in making those steps, they introduce errors. And we directly measure with our ultrasound patch that mechanical uh, performance. And that gives the basis for the accuracy. And of course, the wearable patch will provide the continuous data that the physicians so desperately need. Both in an acute setting in the ICU, think cardiogenic shock, as well as for chronic heart failure management monitoring at home. And we have some excellent first in human clinical results, which I will show you in a second. We're a Bel Belgian-based company with uh, some very uh, renowned uh, founders, such as the IMEC Research Institute, based in Leuven in Belgium, near Brussels, as well as the local university, which has a very renowned expert center in medical imaging research. And we're also VC-funded. So underlying this patch is some deep tech innovation. If this was easy, it would have been done by the big guys like Siemens, GE, and Philips a long time ago. There's a huge market opportunity, and our proposition is that we can indeed improve health outcomes with a non-invasive and highly accurate and continuous measurement device. We will also be able to save costs, and we already have confirmation from the FDA that the 510K route is available, so there is a predicate device. And we have some very experienced teams, and I will show you some details later. We raised 10 million euros in the first Series A series, and we're now in the midst of a 25 million euro Series B round. So this is how, what the patch will look like. We start on the left with a wired device for the ICU, but of course then uh, we move as quickly as possible to a wireless device, because then the proposition becomes uh, uh, the strongest, both in the, in the hospital ward, but certainly then also towards home monitoring. The patch will be flexible and smart, flexible to attach, to accommodate the curvature of the skin. Smart, it will correct for that curvature. It will automatically identify the intercostal spaces and the left ventricle wall and start to monitor within a few heartbeats the cardiac output. What is also important that in introducing this patch, we take away a lot of operator dependency, which as I will show you is in other existing solutions, a key inhibitor. So underlying this move from a handheld ultrasound probe to a wearable patch, there's hardware innovation. There's a totally novel way of making the same ultrasound sensor, but in a way that allows us to make that uh, sensor essentially two orders of magnitude cheaper than all the existing ultrasound transducers can today. But there's also software innovation, because as you can imagine, there's a lot of software needed to efficiently manage the large amount of data in terms of the ultrasound pulses going out and the echoes coming back. So here's uh, how we did our uh, approach, our first human clinical trial. You see at the bottom left, you see the different positions of the sensor on the thorax. We take a two-dimensional sweep. The software identifies the perimeter of the left ventricle and starts to automatically track that. And then these two-dimensional uh, uh, sweeps are reconstituted into 3D volumes and diastolic and end systolic volumes. And we compared our measurement with our sensor and software to that of a reference device, a high-end GE probe that is used in the hospital in, in Leuven. You see at the left-hand chart, you see on the horizontal axis, our measurement of the cardiac output in liters per minute as compared on the vertical axis with the GE uh, uh, system uh, measurement. And you see excellent correlation. We also did a so-called blount altman plot to demonstrate indeed that we have a very high level of agreement between the reference device and our own uh, uh, new system. So that is actually very encouraging uh, first clinical result, and of course we're building on that. So how do we see ourselves against competition? We already talked about the handheld probe. You can never do longitudinal measurement, one, and two is you need to be very well trained how you handle the probe in order to get decent, decent data. 
And then there are, of course, the invasive devices, the catheters. They're quite in inaccurate. They're invasive, they're expensive, and they're only usable, of course, in the ICU and not in hospital ward, let alone in home uh, situations. And then there are implantable devices, such as cardiomems, which are quite cumbersome, expensive, only for the most severe patients. So we think with our wearable patch, we have a strong position vis-a-vis -vis the competition. In terms of the patient indications, there's a lot of them. It's a lot of cardiovascular uh, disease indications, of course. You see them here. Heart failure is one of them, but also think cardiotoxic patients and indeed post-operative insta hemodynamically unstable uh, patients. So as a result, the market opportunity is big. These are numbers in millions of patient procedures, patients that would benefit from having the patch. And you see already, just for the ICU um, application, for the main geographies worldwide, you're talking about something like 10 million patient procedures per year, but the hospital ward market is four or five times bigger. And over time, as confidence and experience grows with the patch, the home market will be the most dominant market. So our clinical plan is we are starting the Series B round for 25 million. It will culminate in a demonstrator trial. And then in 2025, we will have a pivotal trial with two arms, European and American, to reflect the fact that we have a dual US and European market entry strategy. We have a very experienced team. This is the, uh, the leadership team, average over 18 years of experience. We are very well supported by our board of directors. In fact, there are two here at the conference. And also very important, we have a medical advisory board with uh, uh, physicians, key opinion leaders from Europe, but also two from the US, Dr. Scott Solomon from Harvard and Dr. Daniel Burkhoff from uh, Columbia. So what is also important to realize, this is a platform technology. We as a startup company, were focused on the first application, cardiogenic shock, heart failure in the ICU, but there is more. There's chronic heart failure monitoring, cardiotoxic patients, as I mentioned, post-operative, but then going beyond cardiac, there's lung fluid monitoring, bladder monitoring, muscle wastage, and indeed, uh, uh, you could also think about high-end athletic performance uh, monitoring, or indeed, animals. So to sum up, what this patch does is combine two things. One is ultrasound, which is a technology that doctors know and trust, and combine it with a revolutionary new form factor, which is this patch. And in order to make the patch, there's some deep technological innovation needed. We have the unique IP for that, and of course, we are patenting that and building our IP, IP portfolio. We have excellent first in human clinical results to prove the concept. We're focusing on the cardiac application. That's where the biggest unmet medical need is. But as I already alluded, there's a lot of upside in monitoring of other human uh, and indeed animal organs. And ultimately, it's all, all about patients saving lives and improving health outcomes. And we think that our patch definitely has that promise. Thank you very much. <laughs>